Today I'm very excited to be presenting our submission to the image matching workshop called Feature Query Networks, Neural Surface Description for Camera Pose Refinement. This work was done during an internship at Meta Reality Labs under the supervision of Vasileos Vantas. The motivation for this paper stemmed from the observation that in structure-based localization settings, reference images used to compute 3D descriptors are often not aligned with the query image's viewpoints. In these examples, we show on the left posed reference images captured offline with the reprojection of a 3D point in red. Next to it is the reprojection of that same point on an unseen query image. Because of occlusion and out-of-plane rotations, modern learning-based descriptors like D2Net fail to accurately predict the correct corresponding point as demonstrated by the feature correlation map shown on the right. This simple example demonstrates the difficulty of obtaining truly viewpoint invariant feature descriptors. In this paper, instead of trying to achieve viewpoint invariance, we instead try to explicitly model the viewpoint variance of a given descriptor on a given scene. To this end, we introduce feature query networks, or FQNs for short. Feature query networks are array-based MLPs that take as input camera parameters and known 3D geometry of a given scene, and learn to output high-dimensional image descriptors using any off-the-shelf pre-trained model. We train FQNs in a simple, supervised fashion, using features extracted from pose reference images using an off-the-shelf pre-trained feature descriptor, in the hope that it will generalize to unseen viewpoints at known 3D point coordinates. We parameterize the FQN as follows. Given a scene with known geometry and a camera pose, we first feed 3D coordinates of points in the scene along with their viewing directions. To model changes in object scale, we also parameterize the FQN on the ray length. And to account for planar transformations, we also add camera roll and focal length. We provide in our paper an ablation study that shows the benefit of having each of these parameters. Note that unlike approaches like NERF, we do not learn to model the scene density, but however face the challenge of regressing high-dimensional descriptors. Here is a qualitative example that demonstrates the power of FQNs. Going back to our previous example, we can now use FQN networks trained on these scenes to regress D2Net descriptors. We can see now that using FQN networks to regress descriptors at ground truth query camera poses, correlation maps are accurately predicted and we can now successfully overcome the initial limitations of D2Net. FQNs have a direct application to camera pose estimation algorithms. In the case of direct alignment, the goal is to minimize a feature metric reprojection error between fixed descriptors that come from pose reference images and query dense feature representations. In the case of strong viewpoint discrepancies or occlusion, this optimization can easily get stuck in local minima. Using an FQN, we can reformulate this objective to dynamically query and regress 3D descriptors based on the current estimate of the camera pose. Our experiments showed that this can help improve the convergence of direct alignment methods, especially in the case of wide initial camera baselines. In our paper, we show quantitative experiments that demonstrate the performance of FQN-based direct alignment. Notably, we find that when trained on simple mode by v 2 descriptors, a model is able to reach performance that is on par with much more advanced image-based models, such as PixLog. Another example of FQNs being used for absolute camera pose estimation is this iterative PNP formulation. Given a feature extractor, one can compute image-based 2D to 3D keypoint correspondences and solve for the camera pose using a PNP solver inside Ransack Loop. From this initial estimate, however, we can go further and close the loop by updating the 3D descriptors and performing 2D to 3D keypoint matching step again, this time with descriptors that are better aligned with the query image. Our quantitative results demonstrate the ability of this method to provide strong relative improvements compared to standard PNP plus Ransack for the same set of features, especially when dealing with large camera baselines that initially provide many erroneous correspondences. Here is a qualitative visualization of this algorithm in practice, on an example where we have a large camera baseline at initialization obtained with D2Net descriptors. While the first PNP person sac results show a poor camera pose estimate, 
After several iterations, the 3D descriptors are updated using FQM to bridge this viewpoint discrepancy and lead to much better results. To wrap up this presentation, we provide the following conclusions. We showed that feature query networks are able to model the variance of high dimensional descriptors with respect to viewpoints. Our experiments demonstrated that this is an efficient way of improving subsequent camera pose estimation algorithms, either on direct alignment methods or PNP-based approaches. While FQNs are still scene-specific by design, we believe they could be in the future extended to become scene-agnostic. Thank you for watching.